Level two has been um, empty for quite some time, so we started coming up with um, design concepts. Um, part of that process is to look at objects from our collection. Working with the objects, I then reviewed the space that we had and looked at how the environment could best tell the story of those objects and not dominate them too much. We came up with this, I came up with about six or seven concepts which I then presented to our team, that's including the director and um, our curators. We selected one which we felt really worked um, and resonated um, with the space and also with some of the um, ideas that the curators were working with. We've got almost like two walkways on either side and the ribs curve up around the space um, and almost um, cup and envelop the objects. They form ribs um, and then you've got a, a light box which is um, forming a barrier in front of the objects as well. The floor is basically only got three or four colours in its design which is yellow, black and white um, and that was a really conscious um, decision to make it different from the attic. So the idea is to sh was to show the environment but not overpower it and basically create in a sense what is a gallery um, of objects. We've got a um, fabulous collections team here at Museums Wellington. There's only a few of us, um, but what we do is we bring um, outside experience into the process. We've got um, our two registrars who work on handling the objects. They also do some cleaning and maintenance of the objects and regis register the objects and make sure that they're clearly catalogued in our collection. We've also got an exhibitions collections technician which helps with some of the packing and transport of the objects to site. The install went very smoothly, we were really happy with the install. Unlike a lot of our exhibitions, this exhibition was totally built off site. It was um, almost came in as a kit set. So that was a conscious decision on my part from, from the design. I wanted to make sure that everything could be basically put in with as little fuss as possible. So the build happened as planned. Um, we were totally within budget and we were ahead of time by about um, like two weeks, which was great. Um, some of the highlights uh, working with our you know, really cool, fabulous contractors. We use people from um, Te Papa and all over the region to make sure that our objects look the best. But working with the team here, one of the things about putting exhibitions on is you get an opportunity to work with every member of the Museum's Wellington team.